Microsoft held their Future of OneDrive event today and they announced some news around Copilot. I wanted to slow down some of those demo videos and take a look with you and give you some thoughts, some analysis of what we saw. Uh, so if we take a look at the first scenario, this is all about asking Copilot uh, some key questions in that search box. You can see that it's not just a search of show me some files uh, on a certain topic or keyword, but files that were shared by Ben last week in Project Munson. So those are a few key things that are going to be used to filter. You see Copilot just below that is also suggesting a few different ways to interact with Copilot, regardless of what's happening up there. You can see recent files shared by my team, uh, edited by Ben, so it's picking up on some of the language that you've dropped in there that's natural language. Uh, the search results as they come through, uh, it is searching and finding some of these files. You can see the applied filters at the top last week, the time frame, Project Munson, and uh, Ben Truelove. So it knows Ben is part of your team related to the project. Um, something else that we, we look at before we take a look at the co-pilot panel is that the, uh, the files have been presented to us that will look like as search or shortcuts. Uh, they're not just files, but it looks like, um, yeah, they're pointers to something. We'll see what that, what happens to those uh, sh shortly, a bit further along. In the Copilot panel, uh, we have a couple of options there suggested. Summarize these files or this file that has been selected. I did select one file. Uh, and there was also uh, create a folder from these folders. Uh, so this summary just comes up with uh, some key bullet points about what was in the document, uh, and that's uh, quite useful. Uh, the references, of course. And then if we go back a bit, whoop, we've got uh, the full text of the summary, not the full text of the document. And you can do a point-for-point -point, uh, comparison. You'll see some of the language is quite similar to the, the full summary. So the, the bullet points are pretty good. We don't actually see the document, uh, but we can... Um, gather from that language that it's a good summary. So the next scenario is that if we have summarized these documents, we've gathered them all together, they're to do with Project Munson, what are we going to do with them? And apparently this is where Copilot understands intent. What am I intending to do with these files? I've found them. Will I like to use them and make them easier to reuse and return to? Uh, so this is where the scenario for catch me or create a folder uh, will bring these uh, full files together into a folder. Choose the color so that we know uh, is uh, something useful. Um, and then Copilot is also searching and finding other files that are related to this project. So uh, it's suggested some of them. You can refine some of that search down there in the search box. Uh, and Thing. You've got that option there to add all those suggested files. Now, again, look at the files as they've been added. You can see the folder, Project Munson, at the top has been added to My Files. So when we ask Copilot to add these files that were found to do with Project Munson from Ben, etc., it created a folder in My Files, My OneDrive, and it has dropped those what appears to be shortcuts into that folder. So now you've got the option to share that folder. Now, that's interesting because it's a folder to do with shortcuts, it would appear, not the actual files. And so we're taking that folder that we've curated the files to, to do with Project Munson, um, and we can share it with people who attended that recent meeting. Uh, and this, as I said, it's interesting. It's like we're creating our own curation or collection of files to do with the project. We're sharing it with people that uh, feel that we think it's going to find the the files useful, and it will add those people to the the invite. Before we send that message off, see some of the other options there in the sharing dialog box. Uh, include a folder summary. So it's going to be able to add something to that message to say, what are these files all about? Giving you some context. Uh, we can only assume other things and possibilities underneath someone else, or how can I help you? But sending that off, it's going to send it through to those key people, and there we go. Now, uh, this scenario uh, in the, in the um, 
event was looking at it from the perspective of receiving a folder, receiving the invite to uh, those files, and what would we do with those? So this is for you in that summary at the top. You can catch up on activity to do with uh, the files that have been shared with you and things that you've been working on recently. So uh, we open that up. We can see a panel now for, for Copilot that's going to uh, show us some of the things that have happened to these files. In brief, it's got you know line by line uh, what has happened. And then you can summarize that, show uh, some of the key things, and then you've got some suggested actions alongside each of those documents. Summarize this folder, that's interesting. I could take that summary, I could uh, send it on to yet another team member and say, hey, I've pulled together this folder with documents to the Project Munson. Uh, we've got a composer reply uh, about um, the, the comment within the slide. So some of these suggestions, they're interesting, right? I want to be able to go in and see the content, and I would hope that I could click on GPL architecture, go through to the comment, see what Kat has said, and then make a comment about the, the content um, rather than just looking at that summary and making some assumptions. Uh, like to see loop there too. So this is picking up on meeting notes, collaborative meeting notes uh, that uh, may have been part of a meeting, recent meeting, and that you can summarize that. Uh, so interesting options there. So that is uh, a few key things that uh, they wanted to tout and show off at the future of OneDrive event. Interesting to see how Copilot it very much is about my experience and improving my productivity and what better place to do that than uh, within OneDrive, which is my experience of, of the files that I use. We've seen also in this event that it's not just about my files and the traditional my OneDrive, but also we've seen OneDrive adapt over time to be able to use it as a place to work with files in shared locations, teams that we belong to, uh, SharePoint sites that we might have access to. So that's what OneDrive's going to do with Copilot. Search across that content, bring it together. Interested to see what happens with these shortcuts and how that works. Uh, and uh, we, we also read in the blog post about being able to use files on demand and uh, offline copies, even within this web app of OneDrive. Uh, some of us have started to install OneDrive as a progressive web app. We've clicked that little install button. Down the inside, the website comes and it now is, is like an app on our desktop. So those sorts of features will be useful too. Anyway, what did you think? Uh, is this a good summary? You might have some thoughts as well about OneDrive and Copilot and how that landed. So share them in the comments below and let me know what you think. See you again soon. Bye for now.